Hello YouTube, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mac channel where I document my journey towards debt freedom in hopes to build wealth, retire early, or become work independent as a married woman paying debt alone. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer, but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to follow my journey towards eliminating six figures worth of debt as a married woman paying debt alone. In today's video, it is time for Transfer Tuesdays. As you can see, I am back at work. My voice is a little raspy because I did, I was hollering at the J. Cole concert um, on last week. Um, but I'm gonna push through and we're gonna get through this. So if you're interested to see the amount I was able to transfer um, towards debt or savings this week, Stay tuned. So for this week, I was able to transfer a total of $283.33. And the breakdown is as follows. $73.33 went towards mortgage principal. If you do follow, um, if you are a subscriber to my channel, you've been following my journey, <clears throat> I recently shared the four ways I am paying down my mortgage and one of them is to pay enough to take my mortgage to the nearest zero. I'll share more details about that in that video for October, but $73.33 did go to mortgage principal for this Transfer Tuesday. $125 went to my Freedom Fund. I do have a goal to save $36,000 towards my Freedom Fund within the next three years. The three-year mark is when I plan to heavily consider or be able to walk into full-time self-employment as a licensed clinical social worker in private practice. So $125 went into my Freedom Fund. $25 went into a money market that I also have with Ally. Um, and that is just a little cushion for my daughter to have money when she goes away to college, personal pocket money, not necessarily the money to transfer to pay for college. So that is something that me and her um, did. We opened up a money market, it's an 18 month money market that she will be able to access in, I don't know, sometime. Um, and then $10 went to my M1 Finance. I did open an M1 Finance account and I have thus far invested in S&P 500 and the S&P real estate fund, I believe, but I do also plan on investing in VTSAX. So, and then $50 went towards debt on my Best Buy credit card. If you've been following my journey, you know that I do have a plan to have that completely eliminated by November 16th, which is when the promotional interest period ends. And so, um, for the next, from now until November 16th, because I was able to meet my student loan interest goal, um, everything extra will be going towards my Best Buy credit card. So that is it for the transfers I was able to make for this month. Again, that is $283. And like I like to um, review at the end of every video, $283. Always, I always total up the amount of transfers I was able to make. One, because I like to see how much money will be mine when all these hands are out of my pocket to help to build the future that I am trying to create for myself. And two, I like to um, think about all the small steps that will lead to big progress as I continue to maintain consistency. So, that is it for the Transfer Tuesday for this week. If you were able to make any major transfers towards debt or savings or your future, whether it was $283.33, $0.33, $28.83, no amount is too big or too small when you are trying to work towards your future and reach your goals. So that is it for the Transfer Tuesday. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to follow my journey to eliminate six figures worth of debt as a married woman paying debt alone. And do remember that the debt-free journey is indeed a journey, not a destination. Bye.